How you guys doing? This is Zach again. In today's do-it-yourself video, I'm going to show you how to replace the rear brakes on your E46. A tool list here for you. we got a heavy-handed hammer to break free the rotor from the hub. Uh, two separate size pry bars, a set of needle nose pliers, a 16 millimeter socket and open-ended wrench, a size 6 hex key, uh, of course the um, OEM jack to remove the wheel, and then we have some uh, brake caliper grease and anti-seize. Now the first thing I did was went ahead and jacked up the car and properly supported it, chalked the wheels, and next I'm going to go ahead and remove the lug nuts and remove the wheel. Next thing, just go ahead and remove the brake reservoir cap. Alright, the next thing we're going to do here is remove the anti-rattle clip. You can use a flathead screwdriver uh, wrench, oh, and I'm just going to use a pry bar here and uh, pry away from the hub onto the anti-rattle clip. Just remove it like that. The next thing we're going to do here is put a little pry bar in between the outside edge of the rotor and the, uh, the outside edge of the caliper here. It's going to go ahead and pry and what this is going to do is push the piston uh, back into the caliper and now you can see the caliper is loose and this will let us pull the caliper off the rotor. Go ahead and remove the 16 millimeter hex head bolt holding the caliper to the steering knuckle. You can see the one bolt on the bottom and then the other one up on top here. Let's go ahead and remove these guys. Using a size 6 hex wrench, let's go ahead and remove the retaining bolts here on the rotor. And then use a heavy uh, hammer here, striking the face where, uh, where you bolt the wheel to the hub. Uh, just to break free any lug rust. And remove the rotor. Alright, the next thing we're going to do here is use uh, our pry bar to just go ahead and remove the old brake pads out of the caliper. Just going to go in here and pry them out. And then you can see the, uh, the inner pad has a sensor wire on it. And uh, since it's no good, I'm just going to go ahead and use a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to cut them off and pry this out of the caliper. I went ahead and gave FCP Grotten a phone call, ordered up a set of PBR ceramic brake pads, uh, some OEM style rotors, and a new pad sensor wire. All right, went ahead and put a little anti-seize around the, uh, the edge of the hub there, where the rotor meets. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rotor back on. Go ahead using my size 6 Allen wrench. Put the retaining bolt back on. Next thing I want to do is thread the sensor wire through the top of the caliper with this little raised groove facing the inside of the pad. Just going to go ahead and clip that into place. I also went ahead and put a little anti-squeak uh, lubrication on the back of the pad. I'm just going to go ahead and feed the pad through, lock it into place on the piston. I went ahead and put the other brake pad in the outside of the caliper here. I'm just going to slide this onto the rotor, start bolting it up. Then, because the uh, the caliper has been stretched out, you're gonna have to go ahead and use an open-ended wrench, uh, open-ended 16, to go ahead and finish tightening down these bolts. And finally, gonna go ahead and put the anti-rattle clip back on. Just set the, the two edges on the caliper, and then just go ahead and pry it back with your hands. Snap it into place. Next, just go ahead and reroute the brake pad warning sensor wire. Make sure to put all the clips in place here. Okay, to get the sensor warning light off the dash, you can see it here, the upper right hand corner. Two clicks forward, 
with the door open for 40 seconds and the light should automatically go off here. Go ahead, put the wheel on, tighten up the lug nuts, uh, hit the little subscribe button down at the bottom, leave some comments, and uh, see you guys next time.